Oh, Pisces, Pisces rising. Oh, I, I just want to hug you right now. I, I just going to start off my video with a metaphorical hug because of something that's happened to you recently. This video is about the April transits that happened for the Pisces people and Pisces rising. But I'm going to start off with a video like I know something just entered your world, a planet Saturn here for the next three years. You got a you got a, a mountain to climb. OK, so you're in the beginning of this story. So let's start off with a hug. Let's start off with an intertwining connection connection to the oneness in the world that is you and I and everything and nothing. Sound good, huh? We'll get into April here, you know, in the beginning of April. And I'll talk about a little bit of some deeper stuff here by the end of the video for you. But on April 3rd, we have the planet that deals with communication and the sending of messages and how you formulate things in your head and how it's communicated. Mercury entering the sign of of Taurus and and you know this this story is two months here that's gonna happen for you and it happens in the place in your world and chart Pisces rising that deals with like you know how you just get your simple practical thoughts met and calculated and formed and how it's connected to in a sense your 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 the base core uh, internal knowledge and internal something that you have within yourself and this is going to be a two-month story. So I'm starting off the video this way, and I'm going to go to the next thing, but I'm going to tie it back in, and you'll see why. Two days later, after Mercury enters in that part of your chart in the sign of Taurus, two days later on April 5th, we have the full moon that happens in the sign of Libra. This is huge full moon. It's it's got, it's connected to a story of wounds and uh, uh, how we relate to things because it's in Libra. The wounds being Chiron and Aries, the, the relation uh, in general is Libra and the politics of relationships. This first starts out and plays out in the part of your chart that deals with other people's resources, how you connect to that, how you deal with intimacy. But on a bigger level, sometimes it plays out through um, uh it traditionally has to do with a place in the chart that deals with death. And I'm not saying death is going to happen your way, but the things that are connected to when death happens, and traditionally they say uh, inheritance is will, a losing of money, losing of resources. So it's, you see there's a death, a metaphorical death in that sense. We want to know what your connection is to how you deal with resources in, uh, in general. And this is the big theme for the month here because – this full moon exposes that. But on the other side of the chart, how you actually acquire money and how you uh, uh, develop resources and your connection to resources in a different way, not just other people's resources and the losing of them, how you acquire them, they're, they're connected. They go hand in hand. And this full moon is going to show you something. If it hasn't, if you haven't been noticing it already, you've had a story going on of how you acquire money and how you deal with money and what money means to you. And a deeper level, it has to do with your sense of worth and who you are and how you represent yourself through work and through how you get paid, how you acquire cash and resources. So there's a story on the full moon here that's going to expose that. And some of it is in pieces. And what we want to do is to try to find those pieces. And some of them be, might be the type of pieces that don't feel, feel comfortable with that it show and ex expose you in a sense of like how what your connection is to resources. And it might not feel that good, but we want to grab that piece, puzzle piece, and we want to try to incorporate it back into our world and take it to another level level the storyline is going to set off a story that's been going on for a little bit but will for a while here but it's going to be really prominent this month and there's another chapter in this story within a couple weeks before we get there on april 10th the planet that deals with money and relationships and love and harmonization venus is going to enter the sign of gemini and this is an interesting thing here for you because i think um, th this is going to touch upon how, what kind of relationships are happening in the, on the home front, uh, what kind of relationships and flow and, and, and communications happening within family structures, what kind of uh, insights or things that have come up with that deal with the memories and the past and your lineage and ancestry. This can go that deep here with Mercury coming or excuse me, the planet Venus coming in to want to see things and relate to things in that area of your life. Now. That, that Venus in, uh, story starts on the 10th, but here we are on April 19th now, two weeks after that full moon I was talking about. Here we are now at a new moon, but it's not just any other new moon. 
it's a new moon that happens in Aries, but there's a solar eclipse happening. Uh, whether you could see it or not in the sky, it's going down. It's happening. And it comes back to this place in your chart that deals with money. What the hell is money? What is money to you, my Pisces friend? Do you cherish it? Do you know it? Do you know what it is to have money? Maybe you do know what it is to to build up resources, to ha uh, uh, to do work and to have get paid and then have that money and that paycheck. Uh, 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 you spend it and you spend it on where you live or, or you buy items and those items are reflective of your hard work and how you value things. I want you to pay attention to what you value and what how you value yourself and what is connected from that self-worth place to like money and how you acquire an, a, a basis of resource and how you're connected to other resources. And do you need to connect yourself to other resources? Sometimes we don't ask for help in that area. Sometimes we uh, need to do more and do more work to acquire more money and resources. Whatever the case, I think you're getting the picture this month about what this is. And this solar eclipse that happens is going to bring in something and take something. Okay, I actually think that it could be a sign and I'm not trying to be prophetic and like get really weird with you, but I want you to pay attention to your dang bank accounts. I want you to count your pennies. I want you to really focus, really focus on what cash means to you and the acquiring of that, because on a deeper level, it goes to something more about how much you're worth. But in the meantime, if you need a tangible way to, to deal with this because of the solar eclipse, it's going to expose something in that area of resources. How many times do I have to say money and resources to you? How many times do I have to say money and resources to you? Line it up, get it together, get the help that you need. Make sure your taxes are done. All these little things, count your pennies, do your bank account, go on your online thing, get the tools to help you. I'm trying to keep it very straightforward and simple, but in a deeper, deeper subconscious way. How much are you worth? Well, I can give you the answer to that right now. You're worth everything. You just have to have it manifest in the physical world. You got to pay your bills. You got to do the responsible things for you to bring in the cash and the resources. It's reflective of who you are. That's the story right there for the month. Two days later, I'll throw in this thing. And this is good because um, this goes back to your mind. And this goes back to how you sit with that raw, intuitive, and even internal knowledge that you have. Because we started off this video talking about the beginning of April and the planet of communication entering the place in your chart of how you formulate your base core ideas and and uh, how your thoughts, uh, your 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 basic internal thoughts are formed, how it's outputted and communicated within your immediate surroundings through your friends and th siblings, through your neighbors. Here, it started in the beginning of April, three weeks of Mercury. We get to the 21st and Mercury stops and goes backwards for three weeks in that area of your chart, which means you're going to have a reclaiming and review process that needs to happen. That re-circuitry, that rewiring of how your practical thoughts are formed and where they come from is on stage. It really kicks in the end of April and it's going to go all the way into May. So to sum it up, money and resources, your connection to that and your connection to other people's resources, how you're relating at home and what that means, family, past, memories, lineage, and how calm and sharp your mind is when it comes to the internal knowledge you have within yourself and how you think and how you process those things in your immediate world. I hope you enjoyed this April forecast. Do them really quick. If you've never been here before, my name is Nicolas Polimonacos, AK Sparkles of Gold. Hit the subscribe button, share the video, go to my website, sparklesofgold.com. You can follow me on IG. Most importantly, my last sign of the Zodiac Pisces, I see the journey that you're starting with Saturn entering your sign here within weeks ago and for the next three years. You have reality in your world now. So get used to it. Get used to your vision that you have and then do the work to fulfill it. Till next time.
I'll see you in the next video.